guys, it's Rocket Stripes, and welcome to a tutorial video. So this is just going to be a quick little video explaining how to install DecoCraft for Minecraft 1.12.2. This should work for all versions down to 1.6. If there are any differences, I'll go ahead and point them out. So we're going to start off by going to Forge. I'll have this linked in the description. So like I said, this tutorial is for 1.12.2, but you can change this to be for whatever version you want. You're going to download the version you would like to play on. So in this case, 1.12.2, and I would recommend to download the latest. Otherwise, your mods will most likely crash. And we're going to choose the Windows installer. If you're on Mac or Linux, then just go ahead and do installer. It's gonna take us to a quick add fly type thing. Don't click on anything down here. Once it's done, we're just gonna click skip in the corner and it will start downloading. Now that that's finished, we're going to go ahead and download any mods we want. And since this is DecoCraft, we're gonna obviously go ahead and download DecoCraft. There are a lot of websites that you can download the mods from. I personally would recommend Curse. It's very trustworthy and it won't give you any viruses or anything. So you're just gonna go ahead and go over to Files and find the game mode version you would like. So since we're doing 1.12.2, we're gonna obviously go ahead and get the latest. And this is very important. Right here, there's a plus one. And this means that it has a core, which basically is just, it needs another mod to work with it. So we're gonna go ahead and click on the more. And right here it says related projects required library and it has this mod which means that we have to have this mod otherwise it will not work and so we're going to go ahead and we're also going to download the latest of this mod which is ptr lib i'll have both of these linked in the description we're just going to download that file and for both of the files we downloaded it will say this type of file can harm your computer do you want to keep it anyway and go ahead and click yes if you get it from curse it will not harm your computer it won't give you a virus you're gonna be all right particularly if you have windows defender you won't get any viruses your computer is gonna be fine so just go ahead and click keep on both of them now we can exit out of our browser and go ahead over and open your minecraft so this is what your minecraft will most likely look like make sure it has play and then download 1.12.2 if that's not what it already has then go ahead and click on this drop down menu over here go to launch options and right here you can create a new version but since we already have that and you most likely do too, we're not gonna go over that quite yet. We will in a little bit though. So we clicked play and then it will just quickly download this. So now that your game is launched, you're just gonna quickly exit out of that. So now what you're gonna do is you're going to open your file explorer and then go over to this PC and up at the top, you should see download. So double click on that and you're gonna have the mods and the forge that you just downloaded. So we're gonna open our windows bar and we're gonna search Java. If it comes up with configure Java or check for updates or about Java, then you're gonna be perfectly fine. If you don't already have Java, just go to your browser, search it and download it. It's super easy, but make sure that you have it, otherwise it may not work. So here, now we're just gonna double click that and it will open. It will pop up with this mod installer system and make sure that the install client is the one that has the little tick and click okay. Now it's gonna go through this and it will say successfully installed the client, blah, 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 blah. It doesn't really matter. We're gonna click okay. And this is where it gets a little bit more complicated but it shouldn't be too hard. We're gonna open our search bar again and this time we're gonna search for run and it will have run and then desktop app. We're gonna click on that. I'll have this in the description if you wanna paste it but we're just gonna type in percentage app data percentage and click OK. Now it will open this and it will be your roaming folder. Now this is completely optional, but you may want to go ahead and drag this onto the quick access. So it will say pin to quick access. And that's just so that in the future, it will be a lot easier to get back over to it. But again, that's completely optional. We're gonna go into our dot Minecraft and in here, there's gonna be a bunch of folders. I would recommend not messing with these unless you particularly know what you're doing, but we're gonna right click, we're gonna do new and we're gonna do folder and we're gonna name it mods, all lowercase, all again have that in the description if you don't wanna type it out and we're gonna click enter. Now we're gonna have that right here and we're gonna double click on it and it's gonna be empty. So then from your downloads, drag any mods you would like into your mods folder. And again, make sure that they're for the same version as Forge. We made sure that the mods were for 1.12.2 and that the Forge is for 1.12.2. So we're gonna exit both of these. Finally, we're gonna open our Minecraft again. We're gonna click on the drop down menu and we're gonna go to launch options. It will most likely auto create one of these tabs that say 1.12.2 Forge but I'm gonna show you how to create one just in case it doesn't. So click add new. Up here, you can name it whatever. Personally, I'm gonna name it DecoCraft since it's for DecoCraft. And then across from version, you'll see latest release. Just scroll down to the very bottom until you see your release forge. Click on that and click save. And then back over here, 
click on the up arrow and choose the profile we just made. Now we're gonna click play and our game will go ahead and launch up like that. It will go through all the mods, it'll make sure everything's okay. It may take a little bit to open, depends on the speed of your computer. And you also may notice this is going into the red a lot, which is not good. And so I'll show you how to change that at the end because it is completely optional, though personally I do recommend it. So now just load up a world that you previously have not used. And then when you open your inventory, you'll see all the fun deco craft stuff. So that's about all. If it is a little bit laggy, I'll show you one quick easy way to fix that. Now keep in mind this is completely optional. So close out of your game and then we're gonna open our search bar again and we're just gonna search for RAM. And here it will say view RAM info. We're gonna click on that and under device specifications, it will say installed RAM. And so we're gonna remember how much RAM we have. I have eight. So we're gonna close out of that. We're gonna open our Minecraft again. Under launch options, we're going to go ahead and click advanced settings. It will say this enables changing things and stuff. We're gonna click okay. And we're gonna go back into the profile we created. We're gonna click on that. And then under JVM arguments, we're gonna tick this. And now we're able to type in here. So the number of RAM you had, like I said, I have eight. We're gonna divide that by two. So half of eight is four, half of four is two, and half of 16 is eight. So since I had eight, I'm gonna do half of that, which is four. We're gonna click save and we're going to go back over to the launch. And again, make sure that you're on the correct profile that you just created and click play. So here you'll see that it, instead of having 1000, it will have 4000. And so this will help it run much smoother on your computer. Anyway, that is all. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. I hope this was helpful. Please check the description. I'll keep that updated if any changes have occurred. If you're having any issues, let me know in the comments down below. I'll do my best to help you out with those and I'll see you all later. Goodbye.